If one has a rare disorder that needs to be treated, centralization is a marvelous tool. The hemophilia world, certainly, at least in this country, and in Europe, too, adopted this model of comprehensive care. Hemophilia is a chronic inherited bleeding disorder. Bleeding is typically internally into joints, muscles, or other internal organs. And if the disorder is not diagnosed properly and treated quickly when a bleed occurs, then it can lead to chronic, painful swelling and crippling of the joints. Comprehensive care really um, encompasses providing services toward patient's many needs. For looking at the patient as a whole person and trying to understand and approach all the problems. Our goal was start normalizing life for people with hemophilia and families with hemophilia. These patients initially were only cared for by hematologists or pathologists out in the community. They had no psychosocial services, no physical therapy services, and certainly no nursing services, so their care was very fragmented. If you've never seen really bad joint disease or you've never seen a, a bad bleed that's out of control, it's easy to become complacent and think that, you know, this isn't any big deal. Most of them will tell you um, near-death stories about how they almost died from a minor surgical procedure or a farm accident. It was really a boon for these patients to actually be treated by a provider who was well versed in hematology and hemophilia care. Central to the success of a center is institutional commitment to support it in space, in staffing, in funds, etc. The treatment of hemophilia in general is, is one of the most expensive diseases known to man to, to treat. Treatment of that will require infusion of IV products in order to um, stop that bleed. Clotting factor on the surface doesn't appear expensive. The per unit price varies at a dollar or a dollar ten per unit. A typical example of a hemophilia infusion would require about 2,000 units. This is a 2,000 unit vial of factor for an adult patient um, to stop or control a bleed. The cost of this one vial of factor can be between two to three thousand dollars per vial. Could be anywhere about 30,000 units per month. So you're talking about $30,000 per month or more. Many HTCs have been able to add factor distribution services to their core comprehensive care model. And they have been able to do this through participation um, in the 340B PHS federal drug pricing program. The intent of the 340B uh, law was to allow the covered entities like hemophilia treatment centers to be able to stretch their scarce federal resources and, and provide more comprehensive services to their patients. It's not just about the cost savings in price and it's not just about um, the fact that the 340B programs help sustain the future presence of the comprehensive care models, but it's also about the integration of pharmacy services and pharmacy clinical participation into the comprehensive care model. Since 40% of patients uh, with hemophilia are severe and keep factor at home, but even they run out of factor when they might be in the middle of an acute injury or joint bleed, and mild and moderate patients who often don't keep factor at home due to cost constraints, um, may end up in the clinic with a three o'clock afternoon bleed and centralized mail order pharmacies cannot um, handle factor distribution in a timely way. It may be 24 to 72 hours before a mail order pharmacy can get factor to a patient in this situation. The 340B program has allowed many centers to have a budget line that they can now look to their institution and say, look, we are being self-reliant. We are no longer a cost center to the institution, but we are providing our way forward for our patients. The 
most important thing for people to understand about the treatment centers is that it is a site where patients can get multidisciplinary care all at once and that those teams, the physical therapist, the nurse, the physician, social worker, all have um, a really important role in treating the patient and designing a care plan for them. The pharmacy is able to assist the team in compliance monitoring and they do that through um, talking with patients on refills, um, obtaining data and information about prior bleeds, about factor usage, about what things are obstacles to being compliant. That information is able to be rapidly communicated to the team who can make adjustments in their treatment plan, um, who can alter their doses. That care plan is really what's responsible for saving lives, for education of those families, empowering them. If we don't have the funding for those centers, that care and all the advances we've made in treating children with rare disorders of any kind is going to once again sort of dis disintegrate and become diffuse. Without the treatment centers, these people would be requiring very, very complicated, extensive medical management. We've proven ourselves to be cost effective and just the overall savings in money as well as quality of life for the patient is something that you just can't negate. It's very, very important. But it takes a lot of support. It's expensive until, as President Obama has said, until you can add up the savings. And that is a long-term thing, as I well know.